And what that, I think, speaks to me, if, it, if it's not my own shortcomings as a minister, I think it speaks to me as to um, a misunderstanding that we often have when it comes to apologetics. And here's what I want to I get at, and I hope you guys can grab hold of this and remember that I said this because it's vitally important to get. When we talk about apologetics, we're not talking about learning a bunch of information and memorizing facts or arguments so that we can just regurgitate them when we are presented with somebody who says, I'm an atheist, and we all of a sudden go, okay, atheist, now give the script, <laughs> right? Now, it's very important because I have a friend, Cy Ten Bruggenkate. He's a very, very good friend of mine. We love each other dearly, and uh, he, experienced this as, he experiences this as well. People will oftentimes watch the videos or listen to the talks, and then what happens is when you see that person go out and do evangelism, they literally quote word for word what they've heard either from Cy or from myself. Now, um, I, I appreciate the, the, what that means is that it's blessing people, it's edifying people, it's lifting people up. But what I want to encourage you to see is that apologetics, learning how to defend the faith, and I hope this blesses you, is not memorizing a script. That's important. It's not memorizing a bunch of catchy phrases and slogans and glib responses so that you can just whip it out and throw it at somebody. So what this is, is a total life and worldview. It is a total biblical perspective that impacts your thought and your speech at every single turn. So here's what I'm getting at. When you grab hold of God's word as the foundation, you develop a copiousness that allows you to be able to engage and interact with the unbeliever in any realm. And so what I'm encouraging you to do here in, in terms of developing a rigorous apologetic that is devastating to the unbelieving worldview, I'm encouraging you, ready, to treasure up his words in your heart that you might not sin against him. Psalm 119. Treasure up his words. Put them into your heart and mind. Because if you're thinking with the mind of Christ, there isn't any thought that can ultimately come against that. So I'm calling you to be better apologists of the Christian faith, to be better and stronger Christians, to know God's word better. And when you know God's truth better, truth can confront error better. And so that really is the goal. Not memorizing a script, not memorizing phrases, but actually understanding the perspective of truth, having the mind of Christ.